too, because uh, you can imagine uh, how busy we are. Uh, me and my uh, colleagues, uh, our team, uh, really had a sleepless night. And uh, today I just want to inform you about uh, the earthquake in Turkey uh, and uh, the current uh, situation. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, with the current information. So as you all know, yesterday, uh, 6th of February, very early, in the morning, an earthquake with magnitude 7.7 .7 hit Turkey. And just after uh, a couple of hours, another earthquake with magnitude 7.6 shaked Turkey as well. So with interval of just a couple of hours, two huge inter, uh, earthquakes. And since then, uh, we have registered uh, more than 300 earthquakes in Turkey. So almost 14 million people living in 10 cities in southeastern Turkey are affected because of this earthquake. So it's a really big uh, disaster. And uh, according to some sources, uh, they say it is even one of the most devastating uh, earthquakes uh, in the history of Western Asia. So just some figures about the current situation. Uh, the confirmed death toll is uh, 3,432. Injured, 21,103, so more than 21. And uh, almost 6,000 building was collapsed, 5,775 exactly. And uh, three airports in the region are damaged. So uh, considering the dimension of the devastation and the size of the affected region, it is really not easy to uh, fight and struggle because we are all struggling against the time. It's now freezing conditions there and uh, still uh, hundreds of people are uh, under uh, the collapse building. So uh, all relevant Turkish government bodies are uh, present in the region. Our uh, search and rescue teams, medical staff and other officials continue their operation around the globe. Uh, AFAD, the Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, is coordinating all uh, the operations. Turkish Red Crescent are there, medical teams, hundreds of them, doctors and nurses with their equipments are there, and of course, search and rescue teams are all over in the region. In short, altogether, almost 14,000 local official team members are there and struggling to help victims in the region. And uh, more than 5,000 military personnel is also uh, available, and uh, they are also uh, uh, carrying out uh, rescue operations in the region. Uh, we established uh, field hospitals, portable kitchens, sanitary facilities uh, such as portable baths and uh, portable toilets are established. And also, uh, 2,769 foreign search and rescue teams personnel from 65 countries. I repeat, from 65 countries altogether, 2,769 personnel. They are also present in the region and uh, working with Turkish teams. And as you all know very well, India is among these uh, foreign uh, search and uh, rescue teams. Early yesterday, just a few later uh, than the first earthquake, Indian National Disaster Response Force held a coordination meeting upon instruction Prime Minister uh, Mr. Narendra Modiji. And later, I also participating at the meeting at the Minister of External Affairs uh, with NDRF members. And yesterday, India sent a plane, a carrier to Turkey, C-17 uh, type, 
uh, carrying more than 50 search and rescue uh, members, experts, uh, including uh, some search and rescue dogs and some equipments. Uh, this plane arrived uh, early in the morning in Adana and uh, the Indian team uh, has started uh, their rescue operations already in Turkey. And uh, also early this morning, the second plane also uh, went to Turkey. Uh, I think it's still uh, in the air, but uh, we, are, we expect this plane also to land before the evening. Uh, this plane has also more than 50 uh, rescue experts and some medical equipment. So altogether, uh, India has sent uh, two uh, planes. And uh, we really appreciate uh, uh, the sincere and uh, timely uh, help of India. It is timely because, as, you, as I said, uh, the first uh, 48 hours up to 72 hours are very important for rescue operations and Indian experts, uh, uh, search and rescue experts are now in the uh, field. So thank you very much. That's uh, what I want to tell you very shortly. If you have some questions, I'm uh, ready to uh, answer. But please, this is uh, a briefing about a humanitarian disaster in Turkey earthquake. So uh, no political question I will reply. Sir, uh, which area is highly affected basically towards the Syrian side, uh, along with the Syrian border? Uh, yeah, there are 10 uh, provinces starting Kahraman, Maraj, Gaziantep, Hatay, uh, Malatya. So when you look uh, in the uh, map, uh, this is uh, southeastern Turkey, 10 provinces. And uh, in this region, uh, as I said, uh, about 14 million people uh, are living in this region. Sir, as of now, what is the casualty figures official? Official? I already told you uh, the official uh, casualty figures. It is increasing, of course, uh, from hour to hour, but uh, the current one is 3,432. Uh, uh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, have you given any list of necessary uh, things that uh, you may be needing uh, from India at this point of time? Because we are sending, uh, like India is sending back to back in the day. So, what are the uh, things that you need on the ground? So, have you given any uh, list? To yes, we, we have already given. Uh, we received some lists from our government about some uh, emergency equipment, medical equipment, and we have shared uh, all the documents with uh, Indian authorities. Yes. Man from beyond, my question is, uh, how are you coordinating with the Indian authorities here in Delhi? Last 12 or 24 hours have been very tough, essentially, in terms of you coordinating with Delhi. Yes, we are uh, in very close contact with uh, Indian authorities, not only here, but also with Indian embassy in uh, Ankara. So they are also uh, working very close. Uh, so uh, we have uh, focal points at the ministry uh, and uh, we are really literally in contact every 15 minutes and uh, all the nights uh, we were in close uh, touch and contact with them. Uh, our coordination is perfect, uh, so that's why uh, we are able to uh, do it, uh, all the operations smoothly. Sir, how do you see India's quick response and PM Modi quick response? And what is your expectation from India? So, uh, first of all, uh, this uh, sweet uh, reaction uh, from Indian side, this is really very, very important because this is uh, the matter of uh, life and death. And uh, we really appreciate very much uh, uh, the uh, uh, contribution and support uh, from Indian side. Uh, you may... Uh, so in my Twitter account yesterday, uh, I uh, told, uh, I uh, mentioned the word dost. Uh, dost is a word uh, that we use in Hindi language and Turkish language as well. Dost means friend. And uh, we have a proverb in uh, Turkey. We said, dost kara günde belli olur. It means, uh, you, you know, uh, friends in uh, need is uh, friends uh, indeed. So this is uh, equivalent uh, proverb. So uh, we, we, I use this word first time in India, immediately after I arrived in India two years ago. That was uh, May 2021. 
And as you may remember, that was a uh, peak in pandemic uh, all over the world. And uh, after I arrived in India, immediately after a couple of days, uh, we, Turkey sent uh, two uh, big air uh, carrier loaded with 45 uh, ton uh, medical aid uh, to India. And that time I said, friends shall help each other. And now this is an example, another example. Now there is a devastating earthquake, thousands of people are dying, buildings are collapsing, and India immediately after uh, this uh, first uh, uh, earthquake, uh, you know, uh, they uh, took action. And the, uh, in the Prime Minister's office, uh, relevant authorities conveyed to discuss how and uh, when they can start the operation, how can they help Turkey. And uh, they also invited me after uh, that, uh, we coordinate and talk. So uh, moral support and material support, this is really very, very important. And uh, as I said yesterday, uh, starting uh, after, uh, you know, after the first uh, earthquake, I received so many calls from my Indian colleagues, friends, uh, from the officials from the Minister of External Affairs and Prime Minister and uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, External Affairs, Dr. Jai Shankar. They also published statements uh, about uh, the earthquake in Turkey and emphasized uh, their support and bystand. So this is uh, really, very, very important that not only uh, from official uh, state mechanism, we receive hundreds of messages in our uh, social media accounts or in our emails just from ordinary Indians, they really emphasize their support. So these are very important. And uh, lately, uh, that was uh, also a very kind gesture of uh, that Minister of State, Mr. Uh, Murali Tara, visited the embassy yesterday personally. And uh, he expressed his support. And uh, that was also a very uh, kind gesture and a big moral support uh, for our embassy and for for Turkey as well. So, uh, and uh, now, as I said, India uh, uh, re uh, reacted and gave response just a few uh, hours uh, after the earthquake, and the National Disaster Response Force are active in rescue operations in Turkey uh, with uh, more than 100 uh, team members, experts, and uh, we really appreciate it uh, very much, and uh, that's uh, uh, I, that's all I want to emphasize. So, did you uh, have you also talked to the external affairs minister? And secondly, what is the equipment which is required? Are you saying that uh, uh, rescuers now we don't have enough rescuers also from 65 uh, countries? So, what is the equipment which is required? Uh, there's, uh, there are, uh, you know, there is a list of uh, long, a long list of equipments which are necessary. I cannot just mention, but in case you uh, ask, uh, our colleagues can help you. But uh, these are directed to government to government, so we have close contact with government. And uh, Minister uh, Dr. Jai Shankar didn't call me personally, but he uh, instructed the Minister of State to visit me. And uh, he came personally, so uh, on his behalf, uh, Minister of State uh, came to visit our embassy yesterday. Uh, Mr. from Times now, I just wanted to ask uh, you about the rescue work which is going on in Turkey. As far as Indian citizens are concerned in Turkey, you might have received calls of many Indians uh, who are living there uh, in Turkey. Is there any communication that you had with the Indian government to rescue them or to bring them back to the country? Uh, so far, we haven't received any requests uh, about this issue. I think uh, maybe uh, Indian Embassy in Ankara uh, probably uh, received su such kind of request, but so far I know uh, we haven't received any uh, such request, and we don't know whether Indians are uh, uh, there or not. We don't have any information. Thank you. Yes. Can you explain it why and in what contrast do you use it? Uh, you know, uh, uh, both of their original is Urdu, I guess. 
uh, there are uh, we have uh, a dictionary in the Turkish dictionary uh, according uh, to some experts there are more than 9,000 common words in Turkish and uh, Hindi so Dost is one of them uh, Dost, Düşman, Dünya Hayat, uh, Sırf uh, so many even Peynir and Kıyma so they are uh, related uh, because uh, we have so uh, many uh, cultural uh, communities but this is not uh, our topic now okay yes how are you fine fine thank you very much it's such a such a tragic day and all of india weeps for the people of turkey You've seen the material that has gone from India, the relief material. That's the least we can do. Can you tell us a little about it? Uh, what kind of relief material you mean? That has gone from India to Turkey. Yeah, the most important, uh, uh, you mean material is... Uh, relief, supplies. Uh, supplies, but uh, uh, the, the most... Uh, important material is the uh, human power, the, the power of experts, yes. because these are the most critical hours, the first hours. Uh, what we need, you know, after a uh, devastating earthquake, you need uh, experts, search and rescue teams with their equipments, personal equipments, and with their dogs. So these are the most important, important than any other thing. So they are now there. And they brought also some uh, medical equipments, uh, some emergency equipments as well. But I cannot uh, give you a list uh, because uh, I don't have them in mind. But they have also some additional materials as well. Some medicines are brought. I, I think, yes. I, 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 I guess there must be also some medicines, yes. It's a terrible event. This is terrible, yes. This is a terrible event. Okay. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, uh, so uh, the media representatives wants to go to Turkey uh, and uh, report from the zero point. Uh, for this reason, uh, you can uh, directly uh, apply visa at our embassy with your uh, relevant documents, uh, also from a letter from your company. And in the same time, you have to also send an email uh, for uh, accreditation. And uh, the detail can uh, my personal assistant, Parul, uh, give you. There is an uh, email number uh, from uh, Turkey. So uh, you can apply uh, for visa. Uh, it's uh, not a big problem. Uh, our consular section is here. Uh, so it's available. Thank you. If, if you have, if you have, for example, uh, sorry, um, uh, Schengen visa, where is Schengen visa, or American visa, or British visa, you can make it also uh, online, e-visa. It is much faster. Uh, please just uh, consider this as well if you are planning to go to Turkey. Sir, so so we can have a quick response to the visa. The thing is that we are waiting for the accreditation. Accreditation didn't come yet. Uh, from the last four to five hours, so that is a big problem. Uh, and uh, without application, uh, the counselor told me that uh, it's not possible to get the visa. So I contacted Turkey okay. also, but okay. we are. Okay, people, people who follow, you should just send us uh, email. It's already there. Sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sir, sir, sir. Okay, uh, I can uh, be there. Yeah.